Hello, everybody. Yeah, I've got a busy day today, so I thought I'd do a studio vlog. <laughs> I don't know, like, why I thought that'd be a good idea, but anyway, hello, good morning. Yeah, it was a bit of a shocker to the system getting up this morning, mainly because, oh, I really hope you guys had a really nice Easter, if that's a holiday you celebrate. On Good Friday, we went to look at a car <laughs> because um is it the week before i can't remember now the days have just seemed to have gone like blah, blah, blah. my we had to say goodbye to my car um it got taken away on the back of a lorry to a scrapyard yeah my um it was a 2007 golf vw golf absolutely loved that car it was a bit like it was a bit like driving a go-kart but it was new enough to be a really comfortable, easy drive, like had power assisted brakes and power assisted steering, that kind of thing. But it was old enough that kind of like it suited my love of like actual dials and knobs and things. And I just really loved that car. But yeah, 16 years old and <laughs> it needed so much work to it, like so much. I think the car itself was only actually worth a grand, but the repairs that needed doing were like, well, let me get my cup of tea for this, because I need it, um, were like at least two and a half grand. It needed a lot of welding doing to it, and they were kind of like, oh, this is the quote, but you know, once we start chipping away under there, who knows? So <laughs> that was a really sad day. <coughs> we all took that quite hard. So yeah, good Friday, I went to look at a car. And then when I come home, I was just like, I was supposed to work because it's a Friday and I was supposed to work. Um, but then I just felt really like, really tired. And I laid down on the sofa and I just, felt, I just felt just like drained. And my youngest, she was the same. And then basically my youngest and I ended up with like, I can only assume it was like maybe norovirus or it was a gastro thing. So yeah, we were out of it for the weekend. Uh, we were out of it for the weekend. So although that was like last weekend, I'm all good now. <laughs> um, although that was last weekend, I feel like I'm still recovering because I basically didn't eat anything for like three days. Um, you know, I've got room for that. That's okay. <laughs> I've got to, I've got lee I've got leeway. But you know what I mean. I'm just I feel like I'm now recovering from like from not just being you know, like getting your stamina back up again, but also like I don't know get any life back like my house oh my gosh don't get me wrong John did an amazing job because he kept <laughs> he looked after me and the wolf <gasps> oh bless him like you know <laughs> so yeah he held down the fort kept spud our eldest entertained he cooked he cleaned he did all the things <laughs> um so yeah we're just getting back into the swing of things now I do have a new car I picked that up on Wednesday so the car that we went to look at on Friday um we ended up purchasing and we picked it up on wednesday um so yeah work day today um which so basically i think april's got like four fridays so last friday good friday was out because i was ill today i'm working um next friday spud and i are going to london which i'm really excited about and then the Friday after, me and the girls were on holiday. <laughs> good. But basically, I'm in a really good place work-wise where I'm actually quite, a, 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 I'm sort of quite ahead of myself in some things. So that's good. So on the agenda for today is, um, for, so for some reason, why I decided to start vlogging today, I don't know. But um, hey-ho, should be, you know, whatever. Um, so on the agenda today are two things. First thing is I need to video, edit, upload, post my adults Patreon video. Number two is, number two is um, the where are we? May collection. Yes, I have started it, but I'm at the early stages, so. I'm back. Oh, I've got a red nose. <laughs> I'm back. I wanted to show you someone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. 
Hello. So this is Lamy, okay? And I got Lamy. Lamy is one of those, what they call them, they're warmies. It's a warmies. You know, you, um, he smells of lavender and you put him in the microwave. While I was ill, I had a few cuddles with this one. Didn't I? We had cuddles, me and you. Yes, yes we did. And then uh, I was looking at it one day and I was like, a llama, hmm. Llamas, that would be a really cool idea for the next collection. <laughs> so we have llamas. <laughs> llamas, I hope you really enjoy my inspiration. Um. So yeah. If you're ever wondering like where I get inspiration for some of my collections and things from, it can be as random as a little toy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So yeah, this is the inspiration for this month's collection. Hello. So first up, before I do anything else, I need to clear some space on my desk so I can actually do some flipping work. Oh my goodness. Right, so yeah, we're getting there. So no random, random things on my desk. My paints I'm gonna need, but I'm gonna move them to one side. I'm gonna before I actually start my video, I'm gonna go through and pick out the colours that I want to use because um that needs to go in the bin. I miss this. Um I got this free. I, oh, I think I got this in a scrawler box a long time ago when I did a PR box, I got it for free. Liquid acrylic, liquid acrylic pearlescence. It's like a creamy white glitter. I have used every single drop of that stuff. And I'm sad because it's gone. And I probably will buy some more. I also need to buy some new acrylics because um, most of these are either worn out or dried out. So, yeah. Um, what's everyone's favourite brand of acrylics these days? I mean, I've been really happy with these. These Arteza, Artezas however you pronounce them i don't know i got these for free um they reached out to me years ago and said um would i do some product reviews and i said yes and um they sent me these and oh gosh i'll have to look back through my youtube channel now to find out when i got them so they have lasted me a very long time and i have been very happy with them so yeah here we go like yes i got them for free but you know it doesn't mean i have to Obviously, I don't have to use them if I don't like them, but I have genuinely enjoyed using them. And now they've kind of run their run their course. So I need to get some more acrylics. So do I do I buy the same again or do I get something else? This is the question, right? So what acrylic paints do you guys use? Um, so in the past, so I've used Arteza, I've used um these ones, the Windsor Newton Galleria. These ones as well, the System 3s. Um, these are De La Rowney. Um, these are a bit more pricey, so I tend to kind of only buy like a few colours. But at the end of the day, you know, um, as long as you've got the primary colours, you can make any colour, obs. Um, but sometimes it's quite handy to have ready mixed colours, and sometimes these ready mixed colours can inspire you. Um, I've also used these as well, Hobbycraft ones. These are fine. They, you know, I like these. So, yeah, I need to think about what I want next, really. Um, but I don't know what I want next. That's the problem. So, if you've got any recommendations for me on acrylics, let me know. So, we're looking a bit clearer now, right? This, this, I'm going to keep this because I do, I, I just, reminds me, reminds me. And one day I'll buy it again. Um, so, are we looking clearer Got a bit of space. Got a bit of space. Got a bit of space. I move the um, squeeze them in there. Don't fall off the back there. Okay, okay. The scissors. I put them over there. We're looking all right. We're looking all right. We've got a bit of space. This is right. I need the toilet, and then we're ready to go. I'm back. I don't really know why I told you I needed the loo, but there we go. So I'm in situ now, sitting down. I do have my old vest on. Because I'm painting. I try and I um I try I, I mean I I wear I have like a thousand of these navy blue vests. You always see me wear them in videos because I have like a gazillion of them, no lie. Um, <laughs> um so yeah, I always try and wear my older one. Yes, I still have this page open. You know when you just create something that you're just so happy with? This was this. It was, it really was. I'm sharing it here because you you might not have seen it because if you're not a Patreon, here you go, this is a Patreon plug. 
come and join my Patreon because every month we do arty videos, different sort of tutorials or techniques or <laughs> explore and play with different things. So this one I did as part of the adults video. Now I do do kids ones as well, but the kids ones aren't just for kids. They're for anybody who's looking at like doing something different like getting started with so this this year since September we've been doing getting started with art so we started with the color wheel color theory color mixing we went on to looking at um tones lights shadows form we've looked at composition um we've looked at like getting started with an art journal we have looked at um whether art is a true portrayal of history, we are looking at the different forms of art and how they interact and mix and how it makes up our life and stuff like that. And then, and then art, so then that's like, it's basically run like a year long course, the kids one. But you can sign up at any time and get access to any of the back videos, like the back catalogue of videos. And there's um, downloadable, printable PDFs with worksheets in them as well. Um, and then when that sort of year course is finished, but as I said, you can do it any time, we're then going to be looking at art through history, which I'm really excited about. And it's something that I'm um, currently researching. So we're not doing art history, we're looking at art through history and looking at the techniques that they use, the materials they used, see if we can have another another go, like... Um, for the, when we're looking at the Stone Age, we're going to do some cave paintings and we're going to make our own paints. Yeah, we're going to be making our own paints. Can't wait. Um, and we're going to be like, and then further down the line, we're going to have a go at making our own tempura. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So very much looking forward to that. But yeah, this is one that I created last month's Patreon. Um... And I guess like many artists, I kind of like go backwards and forwards with my art journey and things. But I have to say, this is the one of the most freeing pieces that I have created in a long time. So the principle behind this is we've started with black paper. So we were looking at like starting. So we started the month before with craft paper. So brown paper, craft. So and then we went darker the month and the next month went to black um, so just looking at starting with a different colour, because most people sort of start with white page. So we we're just looking at starting with different colours. And then we were looking at like the different contrasts. So obviously, like you've got the white and the, this turquoise colour, they're a high contrast. So, yeah, just building it up. And this piece is full of texture. Can you want to be able to pick that up? Can you see it? maybe so it's very textural um and we also so not only were we looking at um contrast but we we're also using our fingers which is something and i'm going to be doing that in this next patreon video some of you may squirm at that because not everybody likes getting messy but i do now and then like to try and challenge myself and i mean not myself because most often than not the brushes the brushes get ditched as soon as possible because I'm very tactile and I like to go in with my with my fingers. Um, so. Um, yeah, I just want like I just feel like it sometimes. Um, changes your perspective if you ditch the brushes and use something different. And so getting back in in touch, <laughs> getting back in touch with yourself, your inner feelings and your I don't know, it just. um what's the word hummingbirds I don't know it just makes sometimes makes you feel more connected to your art and this one I feel very connected to I absolutely adore it um yeah and I don't always I don't always say that about my art you know because I mean I create a lot of art but um you know sometimes I'm just like mm, yeah but I have to say this is one that I absolutely truly love and it reminds me a little bit not blowing my own trumpet or anything I'm not saying I am, I am a master, but it reminds me a little bit of um, Water Lilies on the Lake. You know who I mean, right? It's just a feeling I get when I look at it. Anywho, time to turn the page. Fresh page, because it's time to start my next Patreon video. Here we go. So I am Patreon video done. I'm all painty to prove it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to... Go and boil myself a pan of water because 
I probably didn't really explain that. Let me turn those lights off. Yeah, I thought I'd come and sit down and have a, put you on the tripod, thought that would be, um, be easier. I didn't boil myself a pan of water, I got myself a squash. Not really a massive squash drinker. Um, but when we were poorly, um, John went out and got us some squash. Then I was like, oh, I could do, really do with a cup of tea. I do like my tea. Oh yeah, you probably noticed this morning, this morning's clip. Um, it was first thing in the morning, but I was drinking a sleepy tea, right? Sleepy teas have <laughs> no effect on me whatsoever. Um, <laughs> they don't make me any more sleepy or anything. But um, I often drink them because I um, like the flavour of them. I like the taste of them. <laughs> so it was a major catastrophe on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Um, our kettle broke. Oh, the pain, the torture. Our kettle broke, yeah. Um, to be fair for the poor thing, it's about 10 years old. Yeah, the poor old thing has done its time, I would say. And so the thing is like, John um, works from home as well. Um, and so, you know, he's always here. So for a, that's a really weird squeaky noise. My neighbors over the road are having loads of building work done. Um, and these things always seem to get noisy just as you want to film a video. Um, and so yeah, that poor thing for a domestic kettle, that poor thing has done so well, like, you know, nearly, nearly 10 years, um, nearly 10 years worth of work for people who are here a lot. Like, as I say, like, cause John works from home, he like makes tea throughout the day and, oh yes. So the other thing I wanted to talk about, fine. I've washed my hands now, I was like, woo. But I've still got a black smudge because I used ink <laughs> and ink doesn't really wash off very quickly. Um, but that's okay. That's fine. I'm an artiste. <laughs> I'm an artiste. I mean, I've got like splashes all over me. I'm an artiste. You know, that's what having um, <laughs> artist hands. Right, April this month. Mrs. Brimbles is 10 years old. Happy birthday, Mrs. Brimbles. And I had planned on doing, excuse me, I had planned on doing a live, um, craft along session but I'm now realizing that time is a uh, ticking I'd plan to do some giveaways and things like that but actually in reality I don't think that's going to happen because I've only got this weekend of April <laughs> so I'm gonna have a chat with John about it all but I'm semi tempted to say let's do something for our ten and a half birthday in October in an ideal world, it would be fantastic to celebrate 10 years because 10 years is an amazing achievement. But equally, I've got to be real. You know, I, I, <sighs> Mrs. Brimbles is my life, but so is running the house. So is being a parent. So is looking after me. <laughs> so yeah, got to be realistic. It ain't going to happen. So, um, so I'm sort of thinking, I'm going to turn it over to John. I'm sort of thinking October. Um, more people are around then as well. I find autumn autumn seems to inspire more people um creatively as well so i'm thinking and then we've got time to perhaps plan some different things so if you've got any ideas um so i was thinking of doing a live craft along session um where we can all chat to each other and then i thought maybe we could do like our october daily as well um so if you've got any other ideas of ways that we could celebrate um this is a community um so, you know, I um, like, want to involve you because without you, there would be no us. Ah, oh, didn't that sound sweet? Without you, there'd be no us, which is totally true. Without you watching my videos, there'd be no Mrs. Brimble's YouTube. And then from the YouTube, I then grew the shop and then I grew the Patreon. So it's all because of you. So yeah. My little cub, just come up with a picture for her mummy, haven't you? Uh, hi, What's this? I did cut some stickers, just one, and I did some hot peppers. Pepper pig, yeah. Mummy pig is you, and daddy pig is. Oh dad. no! So you've been very busy, haven't you? Yep. 
happy. Thank you so much for thinking of me while I'm working and making me a picture. Welcome, Mummy. Welcome, Mummy. Thanks, babe. Yeah, come on. All right, I'll see you in a bit then. Okay. Bye. Oh. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm just at home. Um, so I'm only um I'm only up the stairs. I'm making my thumb now while I talk. So I'm only up the stairs, but um I think it's like the change in um the change in st structure, like the change in routine sort of throws them a little bit on when I change because I'm working. Come on, Photoshop. My Photoshop has been a bit glitchy lately. Um my technical support guy, John, <laughs> has been looking into it. Come on, open. So slow. Doesn't help that I'm uploading a video as well, and that is a problem. Like uploading video, trying to use your computer at the same time is like gnarly. Um. So yes, yeah, so I like love that little little love messages while I'm while I'm working. Here we are. Look, I feel like I feel like I've been um. I feel like I've been procrastinating. I don't know why, because I like drawing, but. <laughs> I am now in the drawing part, well, inking up. So the um, the illustration is done. I might tweak these ones because I'm not massively happy with them. Um, so yeah, I'm inking up now. I'm doing all the like finer um, details and things. So the uni ball eye, that's the pen I use. I also got given another picture <laughs> not to be outdone by her sister <laughs> this is from the big one <laughs> so yeah with a i miss you mum <laughs> right so i i do i do need to crack on as you know but i i remembered that what else i was going to talk about today um there used to be in um in cambridge there used to be a scrap store and it was it was great. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, that closed. Someone very kindly told me about um, one in Milton Keynes. So the other week, we were in Milton Keynes. And yeah, it was really fun. We got home. Um, so the biggest cost really is in the membership, um, which wasn't a lot. Um, that cost £12. And we bought some uh, clay. Um I have to change angles. Does anyone else like draw at really weird angles? Um, so yeah, he's now inked in. He's inked in. He's uh, ready to go. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, we bought some paint and some clay. So yeah, to find a kilo of clay for two quid, I was like, yes, I'll have some of it. Um, <laughs> And um, we bought some paint. We bought some bottles of poster paint for 75p, which is pretty cool. Scrap store bits. We bought all manner of things like plastic straws and um oh, just looking at my character faces there, and I'm like, am I happy with those? I don't know, you know, when you look at Star Mink and I, I'm just not sure. Or if I'm really happy with the way they're drawn, I might redraw them. I don't know. Um, yes, we bought all we bought all manner of um, all manner of things, and we filled an entire bag for life. For three pounds. Three pounds. Um, so yeah, that was that was really cool. Um, so yeah, definitely have a look and see if there's a scrap store near you. Yeah, I'm going to redraw those ones, I think. I don't know. They look a bit... These ones here, compared to this one and the other one, they look a bit too serious. They're not... It's not my style enough. They're not, not quirky enough.
get John to say, put the pan on for me. <laughs> so yeah, he's bought me a pan of water. Cause that damn Amazon delivery store here, it's half past one. Oh good God, it's only half past one. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love my job. I really, I, I do genuinely love my job. Um, but equally, sometimes I'm like, how's it only half past one? I've been so busy. <laughs> um, busy talking to you guys. John cooks an epic roast dinner. It was lovely. He, he often does that on a Friday because we're around. Um, or like sometimes I'll do one on like a Wednesday if we're around or something. We're often out on a Sunday. Anyway, the kids for Easter, they got um, given Tony's chocolonies at legs. And they don't like half of them because they're all fancy flavours. And this one is white chocolate, which I absolutely adore white chocolate. But also raspberry. <laughs> And one of my kids just gave me this one. It's white chocolate. Thank you very much. I'll have that. My kids got tons of chocolate and sweets for Easter. It's not fair. Where's all mine? So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have one of these. And I've got a cup of chamomile tea. And we're rocking and a rolling. So all the illustrations are now photographed and they have all been um, titivated. Like I showed you a snippet of, they're like now black and white. And so I've just been working on a, a colour palette. So some pinks, some blues, some greens, a sprot of yellow. And I've just been looking at like pictures of llamas, <laughs> trying to work out some um, sort of colour palette for llamas. So I'm actually going to go back to the old interwebs now and um, look for some llama pictures. <laughs> and like, while I was doing my research about llamas, um, I saw some pictures of some pineapples. I was like, what? So, you know, as you do, Google, do pineapples grow in South America? And yes, apparently they do, which I didn't know. Like, uh, you learn, you learn something every day, don't you? Um, I was also looking at pictures of um, cactus flowers because I wasn't sure what cactus flowers look like. Um, so you gotta you, you you gotta do you gotta do your research, haven't you? So I thought so I've got a grey colour, so I'm mainly gonna make the meow milamas white-ish. Maybe sort of like off-white, like a greyish colour. But in my head, I don't know why, I thought llamas oh, some llamas were more brown. I guess like this oh look at that little shaggy dude. Oh um but the trouble is like llamas now packers often get kind of into um what do you call it, don't they? Look at this little chap. I love it. <laughs> the teeth on that. I love it. Ooh, what's this? That looks like something my eldest daughter would absolutely love. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, <laughs> but she would love that. So, yeah, oh, look at this llama. Is that, oh, there's a pink llama. Now, that is kind of cute. So, okay, so mainly like a whitey, creamy colour with a few sort of light browns. So, yeah, I need to come up with a, a brown coloured, a brown colour for my llamas. There we go. We've got ourselves two brown llama colours. Um, this, they're, they're quite light. Oops. <laughs> they're quite light, but um, it's sometimes difficult to, well, uh, colours, like if they're too dark, they don't always print well and then you can't sort of always see um particularly like when it's solid dark um and you can't always then see any details and things so yes yeah, so that's a nice little color palette nice little neutrals color palette isn't it and then bright as a, a contrast i finished sticker sheet one let me show you da, 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 so yeah john um, may have something to say because sometimes he, he tells me that I always put things too close <laughs> and he struggles with cut lines and things so these aren't always like the final he does the cut lines I don't you see so there we go there's all the illustrations together on the one A5 sheet um, and I've halfway done the die cuts as well so time for a break me thinkers much excitement because it's half past three in the afternoon and the new kettle has arrived so i can't wait to make a cup of tea yes wow these look amazing so who made these me <laughs> what are they donuts 
donuts. Wow, look at the marbling and I like the gold. It's Diet Coke time now. I'm, so I, um, oh, that sound. There's the dopamine. Oh. Hey everybody, it is five to eight. I'm still going. <laughs> I'm nearly done though. So I'm just going to finish up and then, um, go and join them. <laughs> Getting brain fog now. Um, also trying to work at the same time isn't always that easy um so i just wanted to say thank you for hanging out with me today i need to edit this video so i'll probably do that sometime over the weekend oh my gosh <laughs> um yeah and i'll try and put some more looks at the collection on um the old social media as soon as i can <laughs> I don't like working too late into the night because I find that I get sort of like wired <laughs> um I do need some like relaxation time <clears throat> yeah so that I can actually like get some sleep do you know what I mean you know like if I if I work too late I try not to work past sort of like half past eight because otherwise yeah need unwind time so here we go Thanks for hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed the studio vlog. I know it's long, but um, lots to say, eh? <laughs> See you guys.